Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather together in this Eucharistic celebration because Jesus promises us that He will remain with us. He will remain in us. And so as we listen to His Word, as we fulfill His commandments, Jesus remains with us. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacrament of His presence, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace those sinners we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed. Stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this as written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord. Even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is asking us today to change our idea, our opinion or view of his commandments. Nais po ni Jesus ngayong araw na baguhin po natin ang tingin natin sa kanyang mga iniuutos. His commandments. Alam niyo po sa, sa salita po kasi natin, no, sa ating uh, uh, wika, ang translation ng commandments ay utos. Kaya para sa atin medyo negative ang dating no kapag sinabi mong utos no ang utos ng Diyos para tuloy parang ang negative sa atin ng dating na ito ay iniuutos. Parang ayaw nating gawin, parang nakakatamad gawin kasi utos. Kaya ang nais ni Jesus sa atin ngayong araw ay baguhin natin ang tingin natin sa utos ng Diyos. We must change our point of view in looking at the commandments of God, the commandments of Jesus. Because commandments are not just laws. Ang mga commandments o utos ni Jesus ay hindi lamang mga batas na dapat sundin at kapag sinunod natin ay mayroon tayong parang uh, additional points to heaven. This is not the core or the message of the commandments of Jesus. In our gospel passage today, Jesus teaches His disciples. He said, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the root of commandments, of the commandments of Jesus is His love for us. And He said, if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. The commandments, therefore, are not there to be laws that will police us. Hindi po ibinigay ng Diyos ang kanyang mga kautusan para tayo ay bantayan, na para siyang police na nagbabantay o security na nagbabantay. Sabi niya, if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. The commandments, therefore, of God are a sign of His presence, of the presence of His love. And when you follow the commandments of Jesus, you will not just garner a point to heaven, but He said, when you follow my commandment, you will remain in me, and I will remain 
in you. Hindi ba parang ang ganda? Napakagandang tingnan ng commandments ng Panginoon, ng kautusan ng Panginoon. Kapag tinitingnan natin ito, hindi lamang mga batas na nakalista, kundi biyaya ng Kanyang presensya. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, if you feel that God is not present in your life, if you see that I do not feel God being present in my life, then maybe it is time to ask, do I follow His commandments? Because it may be that I am not already following His commandments, therefore, I do not remain in God. And therefore, I feel that God is absent in my life because I have not been following His commandments. To follow the commandments of God is to remain in His love. Baguhin sana natin yung pagtingin natin sa utos ng Diyos. In our first reading today, this is also the message of the apostles to the early Christian community. They want the community, the Christian community, not to look at the commandments of Jesus as a burden, but as a grace. Therefore, the call of the apostles to the early Christian community, they said, let us stop placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke or a burden. On the contrary, he said, we believe that we are saved through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, the commandments of Jesus are not burden. They are grace. If we want to fill our lives with graces and blessings from Jesus, then let us follow His commandments. Because they are not, they are not burden. They are not yoke. They are graces from God. Sana po, tingnan natin ang pagsunod sa kautusan ng Panginoon, hindi pabigat, kundi biyaya. Kaya sa susunod kapag ikaw ay nahihirapan na, Panginoon, parang ang hirap kong sundin ng utos mo na ito. Tingnan natin ito bilang, hindi bilang pabigat. Kundi tingnan natin at sabihin natin sa Panginoon, Panginoon, alam ko na kapag sinunod ko ang utos mo na ito, kahit na para sa akin ay parang mahirap, hindi bibigat ang buhay ko, kundi lalong gagaan sapagkat sumunod ako sa iyo. At alam ko na ang pagsunod sa kautosan mo ay hindi pabigat sa akin, kundi isang biyaya isang pagpapala. I remember when, uh, since yesterday, uh, we will be having a holy hour every night to pray for uh, special intentions. And I remember when I was uh, little, my mother would always bring me to our first Friday holy hour in the parish. At aaminin ko po sa inyo, no, nung bata po ako ay sa tingin ko ang holy hour ay pabigat sa akin. No? Kasi ilang minuto tayo na nakaluhod. At uh, palaging nakikita ng aking nanay na ako ay umiiyak tuwing holy hour sa parokya. No? Sabi ng nanay ko pala ay uh, yung aking anak ay punong-puno ng inspirasyon ng Espiritu Santo dahil tuwing mag-holy hour kami ay naiiyak ako habang nakaluhod. No? Hindi niya alam, naiiyak ako sa sakit ng tuhod ko na no? at sa tagal na nakaluhod sa holy hour. But, of course, I was little back then. But now, realizing that 
in prayer, in following the commandments of the Lord to pray in front of the Blessed Sacrament, I now see that praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament is not a burden. It is a grace. At kapag tayo ay natuto na lumaki tayo at natuto tayong nagdarasal sa harapan ng Panginoon, makikilala din natin na ang pagsunod sa kanyang kautusan ay nagdadala sa atin ng biyaya at lakas. Kaya nga napakalaga nitong mga susunod na araw na tayo ay sumasama, nagdarasal ng holy hour in front of the blessed sacrament sapagkat ito ay hindi pabigat kundi isang biyaya. Ito ay hindi pabigat kundi isang tanda na tayo ay nananatili sa presensya ni Jesus. Again, Jesus teaches us today, if you keep, if you follow my commandments, you will remain in my love. Let us examine ourselves today. Have I been following God's commandments? If we want Jesus and His grace to remain in us, let us follow His commandments. And let us not look at the commandments as burden. Let us look at them as grace coming from Jesus. Amen. Jesus says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. Let us pray confidently inspired by his words. For every petition, let us say, Lord, we place our trust in you. Lord, we place our trust in you that our church may become a true community producing fruits of love and peace let us pray to the lord lord, lord we, we place, place our, our trust, trust in you that unbelievers may encounter god in the love of christians let us pray to the lord lord we, we place our trust in you that married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. God, our Father, hear our prayers and fill our hearts with your love so that we may always live in a way that pleases you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like again to invite everyone. Uh, today is our second day of our days of prayer and charity. We hope that we have been spending moments of prayer in these times and also works of charity as we help one another, especially those who are in need right now. Tonight at 6 p.m., we will again gather for our holy hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And uh, this uh, holy hour will be uh, broadcasted live on our Facebook page. Last night, we have more than 2,000 live viewers, and we thank the many people, the thousands who have joined us uh, yesterday in praying for our dear frontliners. Tonight, our holy hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament will be offered for those who are sick right now, especially those who are afflicted with COVID-19, those who are, are recovering, those who are still in the hospital. We ask you to uh, tune in later at 6 p.m., especially those who are sick right now, those who may be isolated. You can tune in at the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral, and at 6 p.m., Jesus will be present with us in the Blessed Sacrament. And we offer our sufferings, our trials to Him. And as He said in our Gospel passage, that he will remain with us. We pray for your healing. We pray for your quick recovery. We pray for strength. And uh, we are praying in faith, in the promise of Jesus, that he will remain with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Anak mo binala sa duwa, Alleluia! Kay na buhay na maguli, Alleluia! Ipananamin mo kami sa ama, Alleluia!